Okay, so we've set up some virtual machines, we've installed Ansible, we've used some ad hoc commands, we've written playbooks, roles, we've looked at conditions and variables and loops and tags and we've done lots of things with, with Ansible. But we're now at the end of the course and you might be wondering, what do I do next? Okay, so for next steps you'll be looking at going and exploring what Ansible has already in its module database. So it has modules for so many things. You can manage AWS with Ansible, you can manage DigitalOcean, you can manage users, files, services, disks, just there's a whole host of modules out there. So one of the next things I recommend you do is you go to the Ansible documentation, you go to the modules section and you look at all the available modules. Don't look at obviously every single module in depth, just glance over the type of modules that you'll find in there. And maybe something will jump out and you'll go, oh, I need to actually manage a MySQL database. And there's a module for that. Check out the documentation and start playing around, start experimenting with the existing modules. You might also want to check out Ansible Galaxy as well. So Ansible Galaxy is a huge database of roles that people have written and contributed back into Ansible, okay? So they're user managed, they're not managed by Ansible themselves or Red Hat themselves. They are user contributed, okay? So you might wanna go and check out Ansible Galaxy and actually look at the roles that people have made and maybe someone's already written the role that you were thinking of writing yourself. And if that role doesn't quite do what you needed to do, maybe do a pull request, maybe contribute to that role and uh, give a little back to the Ansible community. And what I would say as well is if you're in an environment, a large environment, where you have runbooks, runbooks being step-by-step -step guides on how to do things within your network, such as managing users, uh, installing WordPress and all that kind of stuff manually, I would actually say, go ahead and try and convert a runbook into an Ansible playbook, and maybe even some roles being utilized by that playbook. That's a very, very powerful task to go through, to run through. If you can manage to convert a runbook, into Ansible and get it to do what you want. You can throw the run book out the window. Ansible's now taking care of that for you. If you can do that, you can do anything with Ansible.